We're here at the home of Vittorio Bicycles, just outside Alkmaar, which is a city a little bit north of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. They make handmade steel bicycles, really beautiful touring bikes. They're bikes that are probably going to set you back, I would say, a good two to three thousand euros, so not cheap, but very, very well made and just gorgeous bicycles if you can afford them. And uh, the first orange one in front, as you can see, is a tandem. It's got three sets of SNS couplings, so you can take it away on vacation very easily in a plane. And then over here, we've got just a standard single touring bike, bright yellow. Beautiful bikes. And now we're going to go inside and see what we can find. We're at the Schwalbe stand at the bicycle fair, and the first thing we spotted is the brand new Marathon Mondial. And this is going to be the successor to the famous Marathon XR. It looks really similar, and we were just talking to the guy who runs the stand here, and he was telling us it's a little bit lighter, and of course they've put three or four more years of technology and research into it, so it'll be interesting to see how it performs. And then if we go over here, if you're going to be cycling through the winter, these are the studded tires from Marathon, and you can see in there little spikes of steel, which means you can cycle right through the winter on the ice, no problem at all. They're a little expensive though, you're looking at about 50 euros per tire. So now we've made our way over to the GPS section and we're admiring all the cycling maps that they have for the Netherlands. These will set you back about 90 euros, you can have them either on an SD card or on a CD-ROM and they're all compatible with GPS systems like Garmin. On the other hand, instead of buying these, you could always just go to OpenStreetMap and they have, for Holland at least, a wonderful, completely free map for cycling around the Netherlands. We've been cycling for four months and yeah. this are very handy stuff. Like this bottle, it's a pee yeah. bottle. A pee bottle? Yes, when you're in your tent and you have to pee, yeah. this is very handy. You don't have to go to the toilet outside, so and can this one is very useful for us and can you actually use it as a woman you yes, don't as a woman I can use this so really and it never spills in your tent or no, makes a mess you have to be very careful this is okay <laughs> but also very handy is this one it is uh, the zing uh, it's for electricity uh, it's uh, like a kind of a battery for us so our mobile phone is uh, always charged and um, well actually we take a lot of uh, uh, stuff with us like a, a computer, uh, the mobile phone so we need also this one it's um, especially for uh, yeah, at campsites this is mostly in Europe I think this is very yes. handy yes. yeah and um, also this one is not only for your dishes but also when you uh, are wild camping and you want to wash yourself it's like a little bath uh, at campsites it's uh, very handy yeah but this is our stuff we always take with us so now we're admiring some of the different bicycles of Vittorio and of course they have pretty standard touring bikes, I say standard I mean built to fairly normal spec, but this one is really something special. This is a bike that was used for the longest trip on ice. Let's take a closer look at the rims. Andrew spotted something interesting here. So these are, the three are weld, obviously welded together and the tire is only fitted into the outside too. So you've got one tire in here, one tire in here properly and the spokes are actually crossing. So both spokes on this side are crossing to the other side, and vice versa. So check this out. If you look at the forks, they're double width and you've actually got two tires in there. And I'll show you some of the pictures as well of the trip. Maybe Andrew can just flip through them here. Look at that tent completely encased in snow, bike as well. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really cold though in the winter, I imagine. And this, just imagine, <laughs> fixing a flat tire in literally the middle of nowhere. And there's how he carried a lot of the baggage in a trailer towed behind the bike. Hmm. What an amazing journey. This is the latest interesting thing we spotted at the bicycle fair. It's a brook saddle with the hair still on from the cow. So if you really want a natural look to your brooks, and presumably you'd have to use a little bit less proofide, then this is the one for you.